Trinidad and Tobago is 1,981 square miles with a population of just over 1.3 million persons. But our greenhouse gas emissions are high. Greenhouse gases trap heat and the international community has realized that over time, man-made gases associated with the development of states have caused imbalances and changes in the climate, which, if left unchecked, will continue to negatively impact human health, our food supply, our weather, our oceans and land masses. In June of 1992, representatives of over 150 countries attended a United Nations conference on environment and development called the Earth Summit and agreed to work together to achieve sustainable development. Trinidad and Tobago signed on to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the Paris Agreement, also the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, among others. The objective of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change is to stabilize the concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere at levels that prevent dangerous interference with the world's climate. Our obligation under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change included creating an inventory of greenhouse gas emissions, an action plan to mitigate the effects of climate change, promote and cooperate in the development, application and diffusion of technologies and promote sustainable management, prepare for adaptation to the impacts of climate change, conduct and share research and information so as to educate, train and increase public awareness on the issue. The Paris Agreement seeks to strengthen the global response to the threat of global warming and climate change by pursuing efforts to lower the global temperature by 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. The United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification has two objectives. To provide scientifically justifiable solutions for land degradation and to improve the integrity or condition of degraded areas. Trinidad and Tobago's obligations included cooperating internationally in areas of collection, analysis and exchange of information, working together to promote an integrated approach in developing national strategies to combat desertification and ensure adequate financial resources are available for programs, develop a national action program based on guidance from the Convention's Secretariat, and give regular reports on measures taken to implement the Convention. The National Action Programme is intended to be a guide across a range of issues. It lists major stakeholders, their roles, the issues involved in sustainable land management, and outlines the agreed strategy for sustainable land management as well as land degradation neutrality. For up-to-date information on environmental issues and activities in TNT, please join our Focal Point Network by completing the Google Form found on the Environmental Policy and Planning Division's Facebook and Instagram pages.